In this video, we are going to learn about limericks and warning, this is going to be fun and this is going to be silly because limericks are both fun and silly. But first, what is a limerick? Hmm, that's a good question. Well, a limerick is a type of poem, a very special type of poem. Limericks are usually very silly poems that are fun to read and to write. Let's look at some other things that makes a limerick a limerick. A limerick is a type of poetry that always has five lines. So, if a poem has more than five lines or less than five lines, you know it's not a limerick because a limerick always has five lines. Alright, so let's review. Limericks. Limericks are a type of poetry. Limericks have five lines and limericks are often silly. That's not all though. You see, limericks have a specific pattern. Just because a poem has five lines and sounds silly does not make it a limerick. Limericks have to follow a very special pattern. It's really awesome. Limericks have a rhyming pattern. That's right, a rhyming pattern. Remember, words rhyme when they end with the same sound. So let's look at this specific rhyming pattern that all limericks have. The first line, the second line, and the fifth line all rhyme. That means those lines end with the same sound. Then the third and fourth lines rhyme with a different sound than the other lines. So the first line, second line, and fifth line all rhyme, and the third line and the fourth line have their very own rhyme. So it's almost like a rhyme sandwich, you know? <laughs> Let's look at an example. Let's look at a very old limerick about a mouse. Here it is. You might recognize it. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one and down he run hickory dickory dock. Notice this follows the pattern of the limericks, doesn't it? The first, second, and fifth lines rhyme, and the third and fourth lines rhyme. It's a rhyming sandwich. It's a five-line poem, and it's a little silly. This is a limerick. Limericks weren't really popular until this guy came around. His name was Edward Lear, and he is called the father of limericks. In 1846, Edward Lear published this book, a book called A Book of Nonsense. What an interesting title. It was a book filled with limericks and helped make limericks more popular. People loved reading his limericks. They were incredibly fun and, of course, very silly. Let's look at one of his limericks, a limerick about a bee written by the father of limericks, Edward Lear. It goes like this. There was an old man in a tree who was horribly bored by a bee. When they said, does it buzz, he replied, yes, it does. It's a regular brood of a bee. Notice how it has five lines, the first, second and fifth lines rhyme and the third and fourth lines rhyme making a rhyming sandwich which is the pattern of a limerick and it is definitely silly this is a limerick written by edward lear the father of limericks to review limericks are a type of poetry they have five lines and they are often silly they also follow a specific pattern. 
the pattern they follow is a rhyming pattern. The first, second, and fifth lines all rhyme, and the third and fourth lines rhyme, making a rhyming sandwich. That's the structure and pattern of a limerick. Oh, this is such a heavy cart. It's so difficult pushing this. It's stuck right in front of the school. What if the students see me with this? Okay, I gotta keep pushing. Gotta keep pushing this. I'm glad limericks aren't so difficult, right? Limericks, they have five lines. They're silly. They're fun to read, to write. They have a special rhyming pattern that's like a rhyming sandwich. But, oh, I gotta... I, am I gonna have to call for help? All right. Get Mr. Whiskers on the phone.